All right, well, before we get started, I just wanna tell you all of my experience and everything just so we get everyone on the same page as far as how much, you know, drifting or whatever that I've done because frankly, the the so-called, uh, you know, <laughs> the, the drifting in this video is uh, pretty cringe-worthy. So, um, well, before this, um, I, haven't, I never did a burnout, never did donuts. I don't drive fast on the streets. I've only gone canyoning. By canyoning, I mean like drip, grip driving in the canyon. I think maybe two times, that's about it. Um, racetrack, I've never witnessed actual drifting in person before, like nice drifting. And the only time I've ever been at a racetrack was against for a grip event and I went over there and um, I got a ride along in another race car over there. Okay, so that was my only time on the track. Other than that, was also at a drag strip. And again, I was passenger, so I've never actually driven on a track before. Other than that, um, as far as experience-wise, then we have, um, I've done, I think four, four to be specific, um, first gear clutch drops in the car. And that was just to kind of get like a little, little feel for the back end getting loose. Besides that, um, there's one time in a rain, in the rain, not even in my 240, but in another car, where I was just making a left turn and then coming out left turn, you know, gave a little throttle and uh, just got, you know, the back end came out a little bit. If you want to consider that drifting, just so, <laughs> you know, that way we're, everyone's on the same page as what experience I actually have. And then also in this car, just before I was going to go to the track, I just wanted to test it and just see how everything was. So I went to a parking lot and again, same thing kind of within the rain, except this was in the dry and it was in my car. I just, you know, came, coming around and then like coming out of the corner just kind of you know gave it throttle and just got the back end out a little bit and then I just looped around again and did that same thing kind of just exiting the corner with some throttle so I don't really know if you'd consider that drifting but that was I mean we'll, we'll just consider it like that so that way you guys you know that, that that that's my experience level that's what I'm trying to tell you so that is basically where this video takes off and you will see Besides all that little experience, that is me driving basically for the first time Virgin Drifter. And this is where we're gonna start and then hopefully we'll develop, which I know we will, because you know, obviously I've done more track days than just that one. But yeah, so story begins. So right now I'm at Adams Motorsport Park. So the rear tires are 47 PSI, the interior. We got his camera stuff over here, which you're just gonna keep. Um, he's got my helmet, everything past tech. They really didn't even check anything. All they did was check to make sure the battery is mounted, which it was. So we're gonna wait a couple more minutes and then we can get on the track.
I was so scared. I know. Man. I was like, I oh, know. That was sick, though. That was yeah, dude. That's fun. Oh my goodness.
Yeah, so uh, you can see what I said about the cringeworthy uh, uh, drifting, but yeah, I mean, come, going over there, I was really, really nervous because I'm showing up with obviously not a lot of experience, like I told you guys earlier, everything, all the experience that I have. And there's guys, you know, Formula Drift guys uh, over there doing shakedowns of their cars. And you know, there's the local guys that are tearing it up at the track. And here I am with like no experience, complete noob, trying to go out there. So it was really intimidating at first, especially because I'd never seen drifting in person before. Of course, lots of YouTube, uh, you know, with Stewie Bryant and, uh, you know, Team Burst, all those guys. But watching it in person is a completely different experience. I mean, it, I mean it, it's, it's crazy. And... Um, but yeah, I, I would definitely recommend it because, I mean, you saw how, how, how pretty bad I did. And obviously that's like my first time. So it's it's expected to be that bad. But then imagine doing that on, I, I just can't imagine having to learn that on the street and what it would be like because, I mean, the, the track is way more forgiving as far as going off it. You know, if you spin out, you just go into some dirt. You're not trying to hit a curb or anything like that or having to deal with police. Everything is sanctioned. And, you know, there's people on site with fire fire extinguishers and everything like that. Oh, and then also in the car, first time in the car, trying to drift and everything on the track is a completely different experience than what it looks like on camera. It is insane. Like, it is pretty scary. And I can't even imagine how it was for my cousin who was passenger because it's, I mean, it's pretty different when you're, you know, driving the car, you kind of know what you're going to do and, you, you know, but the passenger, you have absolutely no clue. So it's kind of, especially being a, like being a noob that I am, uh, it takes some balls to sit in the passenger seat with me. So, yeah, overall, I'm happy, and I obviously recommend anyone else to come to the track and try and learn. But, all right. So, uh, if you liked it, I hope you guys can uh, keep following, and then we'll have another episode coming out as well with the second track day or track event, I should say. And then after that, we we'll just keep developing, developing, developing. So, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. No. See you next time. Oh, every run that you don't crash is a good run. Exactly.